Howdy folks, it's Captain Wayne Davis with Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine. I'm here in San Antonio at the KW uh, Satellite Office, and we get a lot of requests on our YouTube channel, on um, social media, about how to rig our weedless baits and what baits work best with our weedless hook. Let's start off with the hook. This is a 5 aught Mustad hook. This happens to be a 16th ounce uh, jig head sliding weight. What's unique, as I mentioned, this weight slides back and forth. So if you want your lure to fall horizontally, you slide the weight to the back. If you want it to, to fish head first, you slide it to the front. So let's get to the rigging. I've got a bone diamond, one of my favorite colors. This is the willow tail shad. It has a hook slot in the back and a shallow hook slot in the belly. So what you're gonna do, Screw the spring in the nose as centered as you can get it. One thing important, you want to screw it all the way up to the, butt it up to the eye of the hook, all the way up. When you get it all the way up, you want it to hang where it naturally, the belly naturally points to the belly of the hook, of the, the belly of the bait. At this point, the mistake people make, they just insert the hook right there. That's a huge mistake. You have to compensate for the bend in the hook, which is right here where my thumb is. So you got to bend that bait up, go in dead center, and that hook is going to come out in the hook slot. I don't know if you can see it or not. Comes out in the hook slot, and it rests right there. Pull it down just a little bit. Now, the grass goes right over the top of the hook but when you set the hook you get a lot of bite out of it that's how you you want it to look exactly like this where it's natural where it just sits just like that this is a weedless bait it will go right through the grass you can fish it in two three inches of water now let's rig up the wiggle the wiggle we made a little bit different we're going to use a five aught hook these hooks are designed to match this particular size bait the Wiggle-O here in the truth color has deeper hook slots, but the same concept applies. Screw it into the nose all the way up. This is very effective for big trout in the wintertime when you have to fish that shallow grass. Again, let it sit naturally like that. You're going to bend this lure up. See how much bend I have in that lure? It should come out right in the hook slot. I can't see it, but it should be coming out in the hook slot. There it is. Again, it rests right there in that slot. This is a double layered hook slot, double layered hook slot on the bottom also. There's very, very thin layer of plastic that runs right here in the back where the, both the hook slots match up. That way you, have a, if, uh, you don't have to give it a hard hook set to get the hook exposed to get a good bite in your fish. Once this hook is in a fish, generally speaking, it doesn't come out. I prefer to fish a regular jig head if I can, but when you have grass, sometimes you have to reach for the weedless setup, which is, this is a perfect setup right here. Matches perfectly, you have a lot of play in the middle of your bait there. The hook's not gonna pull out. It, it matches it up nicely. You can move this hook, the weight around. We have a 16th an eighth and a quarter ounce. So this is how you rig a weedless bait. Doesn't necessarily have to be with a KW. Any kind of bait, you have to compensate for the bend in the hook. Don't just stick the hook in right there. Bend that lure up, get a lot of play in it. It'll come right out of the hook slot and rest right there in, your, in the top of the bait. Thanks a lot.